So, I just got engaged. Yeah. Yes! I can't wait to tell her. She's going to be so excited. It's going to, oh my God, she's been waiting so long. Um, getting engaged in your 30s is very strange because everyone wants you to hurry the fuck up. Uh, this is totally true. A couple months ago, I told my grandmother that I'm getting engaged. She said, Matthew, if you don't hurry up and get married to this girl, I might die before the wedding. Now, you would think that my grandmother guilting me into submission would upset me, but I have been planning this wedding for so long, all I could think was, if you're gonna die, does that mean we have a vacancy? <laughs> if you're going to die, can you do it by Tuesday? Because we have to submit a guest list and you're still a question mark. <laughs> die, can you take a couple other relatives with you? Steak is fucking expensive, guys. Have you seen this shit? Yeah. If we're being honest, though, uh, getting married in your 30s is weird because you don't um, matter anymore. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about your 30s wedding. Your validation for them is that shit was passed. Um, people give more of a shit about divorces than weddings at my age. Um, a wedding is about excitement, but a divorce is about relief. I'm not even engaged yet, and I can't wait for my divorce. Oh my God, it's a family tradition. I can't wait. My divorce party is going to be incredible. It's going to be insane. Oh my God, the parties are going to be incredible. There's going to be the divorce pinata. Shaped like her, of course, we can all beat the shit out of it. There's going to be bobbing for alimony, you know, for the kids. And then there's going to be pin the tail on my ex. That one's my favorite because it's the first and last time you will ever put anything in her butt. <laughs> So, um, I'm a morning person. Is anyone else here a morning person? Woo! Yeah, no, so they're all asleep. It's past their bedtime. I don't like being a morning person. Um, I typically wake up somewhere between 3 and 6 a.m. Shit sucks. Um, I'm going to leave a little secret in for all you nocturnal folk. Nighttime people control the world. It's the truth. Y'all got the golden ticket. Society is not set up for morning people at all. I'm going to ask anybody in this room, sir, what time of day is primetime TV? Uh, no idea. <laughs> 7 o'clock, nighttime, that's right. <laughs> what time of day does the bar open? Nighttime. Nighttime, that's right. What time of day is your girl going to give you head? Absolutely never. <laughs> Restaurant hours, movie time, video game time, nighttime people stuff. There are only two advantages to being a nighttime person. I tried thinking of three, but I had to be in bed by eight. <laughs> Number one, breakfast fast food is way better. A McGriddle will perk your ass right up. <laughs> Number two, you are first in line for everything. And that is a double-edged sword because if there's one thing that service employees obviously hate, it's you being to their job before they are. <laughs> you have never seen more hatred in anyone's eyes than being in line at a store as this employee's line. You can see the distaste for them in your eyes. They're your eyes. Um, occasionally, the manager will come out to see you. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here so early? Well, <laughs> well you know, uh, early bird gets the worm, all that. Sir, it's 5 a.m. We open at noon. <laughs> well, you know, I wanted to be first. Sir, if you don't leave the orphanage grounds immediately, I'm going to need to call the authorities. <laughs> oh, God, even the cops are on this. What's even worse, though, is movie time, or sorry, what's even worse than that is when you, as a morning person, attempt to engage with nighttime people's stuff. The worst for me is movie times. I'm borderline narcoleptic, and I have lost track of the number of times I've just straight up fallen asleep during a movie. Uh, it's mad. Matinee in no, no fucking way. <laughs> the worst ever was Iron Man 2. This is 100% true. In 2010, I arrived at, I, I went to go see Iron Man 2 with my friends. I arrived at the theater, sat down, and woke up as the light kicks on. I was like, damn, they're putting the credits at the beginning now? Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to leave you all with one more story. Um, I used to have had a lot of different jobs over my career, and one of the last ones I had was I worked in the industrial industry, and uh, I sold machinery to factories. Um, the craziest place I ever sold machinery to was a company that made artificial jizz for the porn industry. This is 100% true. Uh, they, would, they would manufacture jizz for the porn industry when you got to cover absolutely every inch of her face. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to the guy, and I'm like, wow, sir, that's a, that's a crazy job you got there. How's business? He's like, eh, it comes and goes. <laughs>
Uh, so I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, you know, but it's been hard recently. My partner died. And I'm like, oh, really? You know, that sucks. He's like, he had a jerk off, had a stroke. <laughs> Uh, that must be a huge load on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it's a sticky situation. Well, I'd love to help you with your uh, with your job there, sir. I, but we're gonna need a sample of your product in order to get the best machinery for you. And so he says, "Okay, give me ten minutes. I'm gonna run to my car and I'll come back with some." Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>